Let's go to Danielle now. What do you think of GE? So when you look at GE, I love the performance this year. I think that the trend in the short term is bullish, and that looks great, especially if you're already on for this ride. However, it does make it challenging, especially if you want to come in and make a long-term buy here because of the move that it's already had. So when I'm looking at this stock, I would prefer a pullback into about 110 or so. That would give you a much better entry with an edge, especially if you're trying to play some short-term trades along with this trend. So I think, you know, wait for a pullback after this breakaway gap. Uh, see if you can get a better entry and trade it up into about 120 or so. Mm, all right, let's move on to Ford then. Downgraded to hold by Jefferies today. Lags behind rivals in the EV space. Let's turn to our Phil LeBeau. How, how low is the bar here, Phil? You mean how low can the stock go? Is that what you're asking? Well, maybe has uh, expectations for earnings come down somewhat. They have. Oh, absolutely. And, and we'll show you in a little bit how much the uh, analyst estimates, they brought in their estimates for the second half of this year. Look, when you're talking about this downgrade from Jefferies, it's a couple of things. One, they cut it to hold, and they've also lowered the price target from $17 to $15. So you're not seeing a huge difference in the price target, but it's the fact that they're going to be spending more, and it's going to be a slower ramp when it comes to their EV business. How much more are they spending? Their guidance for how much they're going to spend on EVs this year has gone up $1.5 billion in just three months. It's now expected to be uh, over, uh, what, $4.5 billion for the entire year. And that's much greater than they were spending last year. Bottom line is this. Their EV development is coming along at a slower pace. Now, look, they're knocking it out of the park when it comes to internal combustion engine vehicles, as well as to their commercial vehicle division. Gangbusters. There's no argument about how great those businesses are. The EV business, not le uh, living up to expectations, nor the guidance that they gave not too long ago. And that's why you see a number of analysts much more cautious on Ford. Danielle, what's, uh, what's the trade on Ford as far as you're concerned? So when you're looking at Ford, I completely agree as it relates to the EV business, and I do think that's why we're seeing it come down. I don't like the way that it's traded lower post-earnings. Typically, that's not a very positive sign. I think that right here, you can look for it to stick around this level, perhaps trade down into about the $11 price point where we have a pretty key area of support. I think in this zone, especially with ongoing economic circumstances, we can look for Ford to trade sideways. However, in the long term, as long as it can hold $11 a share, I think we're still going to see this stock trade higher. I think that the deal that they made with Tesla surrounding the charging standard is very positive for Ford. And I think ultimately this company will start to rise again when the economy improves. Ooh. All right. There you go. Ford it looked a little stuck in the mud on that chart, but we'll see. Finally, let's go to Hasbro, the toy maker up about three and a half percent upgrade. Bank of America, B of A saying Hasbro should beat expectations for earnings when it reports on Thursday. High hopes for Hasbro's new magic, the uh, gathering cards. Uh, let's bring in Dom Chu on this one. Everybody's paying attention to Mattel these days with Barbie, but Hasbro. Oh, absolutely. So, so if you take a look at the overall picture, Magic the Gathering represents, and I was shocked to, 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 to hear about this, it is 15% of Hasbro's total revenue and 35% of their pre-tax operating profit, <laughs> Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I wish I thought cards, was a thing in 1995. Cards. Role-playing game cards. Now, the reason why you have this is because there is a change in sentiment, say, say the analysts over at B of A, around this Magic the Gathering franchise. A lot of it has to do with this Lord of the Rings co-branding franchise that they have with Magic the Gathering. So you have Lord of the Rings cards, right, to play with Magic the Gathering. Mm -hmm. They have already got a co-branded one with Doctor Who and that movie franchise and show franchise. So there is a kind of renewed sentiment around this whole Magic the Gathering franchise. And by the way, if you tack on that with some of the more bullish Hollywood stuff that's going on right now, writer's strike and actor strike aside, Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse have done pretty well at the box office. They could propel toy sales tied to those franchises as well. So role-playing card games, <laughs> better box office for certain franchises tied to Hasbro toys, and you have yourself a bullish thesis. So we're, we're getting our geek and our nerd on, yeah. and that's the reason why B of A likes Magic the Gathering and Hasbro. Alrighty. Danielle, what do you think? Uh, get your geek on and your nerd. <laughs> So when you look at Hasbro, I think there's several reasons to be cautiously optimistic. I like the way that it's gapped higher the last three quarters 
post earnings, however, I will note that this quarter we've seen many companies beat EPS estimates and fall lower. So I would keep that in mind. But when you look at the shorter term trend, we're in a shorter term uptrend. We have some consolidation and we have a market maker expected move of a little bit over $4. When I look at the stock, I have key resistance between 66 and 69. So I think with a bullish move post earnings, if we could break through the resistance, this stock could continue its uptrend. But just keep in mind, there is resistance at that zone. So if it fails, I would have a stop below 62. All right. Very interesting. Danielle, thank you for your uh, insights today. We appreciate it.